Dear students, welcome to lecture number 5 uh, of Economics of Environment and Natural Resources. Uh, today we will discuss uh, Unit 4, the kind of evaluation of environmental services uh, 1. Uh, in this lecture we will discuss uh, the following topics. The practical methods for measuring the benefits of environmental improvement and these methods uh, will include the market pricing approach, uh, the replacement cost approach, uh, hedonic, hedonic pricing approaches. We will discuss uh, these three approaches to uh, the uh, economic valuation of environmental services. First come to uh, the practical methods for measuring the benefits of environmental improvement. This lecture will discuss uh, the various methods which measure the benefits of environmental improvement. Uh, or, or the preservation of uh, services of the natural environment. Uh, environmental improvement arises from damages avoided by taking certain well-defined actions. Uh, for example, an environmental project undertaken to clean up a uh, lake uh, uh, could raise its benefit from the uh, mere fact that, uh, among others, such actions will lead to improvement uh, uh, to the natural aesthetic value of uh, the lake. In this, in this uh, uh, particular uh, unit, we will discuss uh, uh, the benefits uh, which the society, uh, which the people uh, get uh, uh, after improvement in the uh, environmental, uh, in, 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 uh, in, in environment. Uh, for example, uh, the uh, cleaning of water, uh, the uh, reduction in the exertion of gases, uh, the similarly, uh, there can be a large number of uh, the uh, in, uh, uh, actions taken, uh, steps taken to uh, remove, to reduce or to remove the uh, water pollution, air pollution, or noise pollution. Uh, how these benefits uh, can be measured? How we can measure these benefits? Uh, this is uh, the issue to be discussed in this uh, unit. Carbon emissions are sound pollution, air pollution. Uh, the economists uh, usually used a concept uh, uh, willingness to pay uh, for to measure such type of uh, the benefits, and willingness to pay is uh, measured by the demand price at the margin. We can see uh, here in this diagram that uh, the consumers are willing to pay uh, P1 uh, for the tenth unit of uh, the uh, good service are uh, for of good or service uh, similarly uh, the they will be uh, willing to pay a PE uh, for the 25th unit of uh, this uh, uh, product uh, this means for products where a market exists individual exercise choice by comparing the revenues to pay with the price of the product under consideration the purchase the, they purchase the good or service when their willingness to pay equals or exceeds the price, not otherwise. In this case, we see that uh, they are willing to pay uh, P1 for the 10th unit. If PE is the equilibrium price, then all the consumers uh, who, who are willing to pay P1 will be willing to pay uh, the PE for the 20, 25 units of uh, that uh, good or service. Uh, for example, if PE to be the market equilibrium price, all those uh, who are willing to pay uh, uh, P1 will be expected to decide to purchase this good or service. Thus, they viewed the decision making based on willingness to pay must reflect individual preferences for that good or service. In this uh, diagram, we see that uh, they, they value this uh, this product because they are willing to pay uh, P oh, P1 for the 10, un uh, 10 units. If uh, the price is below that, the equilibrium, see the equilibrium price, uh, which is below, then their willingness to pay uh, for this product. So what they do, that they accept the price and they will be willingly uh, to pay, they will be happily uh, pay the PE for 25 units of this product. In this case, the benefit is the direct result of uh, the improved uh, air quality or in, uh, environmental damage, avoided a result of the re reduced uh, uh, Sulfur. Uh, this this was about the emission of the sulfur uh, and improvement in the quality of the air uh, due to reduction in the reduction in the emission of the sulfur. So, if the uh, quality improves, uh, 
uh, end the 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 the, 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 the they are uh, they 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 are uh, having uh, uh, more goods uh, due to improvement in uh, more goods are available so they will be able to pay they will be willing to pay pe uh, for this product we see uh, another diagram here uh, in this diagram we see uh, suppose uh, at the point a uh, the consumers are willing to pay q1 and they are they are ready to pay uh, this T1 price this is a uh, we have a, a situation that before a project is launched and uh, we see the here that before uh, a project is launched to uh, improve the uh, air quality uh, by reducing reducing the uh, sulfur emission uh, before the launch of the project they are willing to pay T1 uh, for uh, the OQ1 of uh, Q, Q star Q1 uh, quantity, but if uh, no suppose that uh, there is uh, some legislation and uh, the individuals are uh, uh, they, 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 they due to result of this legislation the uh, they, 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 the the um, Air, the, the improved air improvement in the air quality and uh, the consumers move from Q1 to uh, the Q2. Q2, th that is the structure sulfur pollution control. Society is allowed to move from point A to point B along the demand curve for environmental quality. Uh, uh, they moved from Q1 to Q2 as the environmental uh, air quality is improved. Uh, at this new position, the B and reviews are willing to pay uh, T1, T2 uh, for OQ2, uh, Q star Q2, uh, this uh, quantity uh, uh, we can see. Uh, so uh, the last uh, unit of emission is QT, Q2 uh, uh, means uh, the emission reduced, the air quality improved. Uh, given this the total social benefit of uh, the uh, project we can see it uh, uh, the this is the improvement because as we move uh, rightward the uh, air quality improves so the uh, improvement in the total social cost is uh, q1 a b q2 this uh, you see this shaded area this area is actually improvement in uh, the uh, air uh, quality in terms of uh, reduce sulfur emission uh, per unit uh, time so uh, the, the the society the, the, the society moves from point a to point b and uh, we see uh, it will be uh, uh, alternatively it could be interpreted as the minimum monetary compensation that members of a given society need in order to voluntarily accept the proposed project that is reduction in the sulfur emission from Q1 to Q2 is uh, uh, not undertaken. This is the measure of willingness to accept. Willingness to pay is defined as the maximum price a buyer accepts to pay for a given quantity of a good or service. Willingness to pay is actually the maximum price uh, a buyer accepts or he is willing to pay uh, for a good or service. One effect of the higher uh, air quality standard may be improvement in the human health which causes a decrease in the average mortality rate. Thus, in particular case, benefit is synonym, synonymous with increased quality of life or increased life expectancy. We uh, can measure the environmental benefits through uh, different methods. Uh, the first method is a market pricing approach. This approach this is a, a very good and simple method to uh, uh, approximate uh, uh, to estimate uh, the benefits which uh, the society can, uh, can or a locality can or uh, an area can uh, a group of people can uh, get uh, due to uh, some legislation uh, due to uh, improvement in the environmental quality uh, uh, this approach is uh, applied to uh, those uh, goods, uh, to goods and services, tradable goods and uh, services, and uh, uh, the, the we can define it as uh, a method 
when the environmental improvement under consideration causes an increase or decrease in the real output or inputs. This is uh, that in the society or when an area, when a country, a locality gets uh, or individuals uh, get improvement, uh, uh, increase or decrease. Uh, in the output or input due to some uh, environmental improvement or due to some uh, project launched by the government or by a company which improves the quality of employment, uh, 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 the quality of environment which alternately is to increase or, or decrease in the uh, output or inputs. It is similar the economic value of tradable ecosystem goods or services. Market pricing approach can be used. Uh, to value changes in either the quantity or quality of good or service. The market prices approach uh, uses pr uh, prevailing prices for goods and services traded in the market such as a timber, uh, fuel wood, non-food, non non-wood forest products that is mushrooms, berries, uh, uh, medicinal plants, uh, aromatic, uh, aromatic and medicinal plants, etc. The market uh, price evaluation technique uses uh, standard economic methods for measuring the economic benefits for from markets impacts based on the quantity demanded and supplied at different prices. Where the market value exists, market price method should be preferred to any other valuation technique. Uh, if the prices of uh, the uh, goods, uh, uh, the outputs are the inputs are the goods uh, which increase or decreased uh, due to uh, the environmental improvement. Uh, if uh, the uh, their prices exist, if they are tradable, then the market price valuation technique or mar market price approach is considered best uh, uh, in order to measure the benefits. For example, uh, a decrease in the timber harvest or uh, extraction of minerals resulting from a distribution pre presentation, they could effectively expand the acreage set aside as a wild, uh, wilderness area. The expected increase in the fish harvest due to implementation of new water pollution control technology. If some new water uh, control uh, uh, pollution control uh, technology is introduced, uh, which will definitely improve the quality of uh, the water, uh, and uh, resultantly uh, the uh, 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 fish production will increase. Uh, so uh, we we, uh, we can measure uh, its uh, market value. Uh, the increase in the crop yield arising from the ratio mandate of a higher uh, year quality standard. Uh, definitely, if the uh, project is launched, if this legislation is made uh, to improve the air quality, uh, as the uh, air quality improves, with improvement in uh, the air quality, uh, certain crops will definitely uh, yield uh, um, a higher, a higher, give higher yield, yield uh, which can be uh, measured in terms of uh, the money, and we can estimate uh, the um, uh, benefits from the environmental improvement in this case. In all these uh, examples, the benefits from environmental improvement that is avoided damage. If environmental quality is improved, definitely uh, we will uh, avoid the damages. Uh, the, if these damages are identified in terms of changes in the outputs or inputs, more specifically timber, mineral, fish or crops, uh, then this approach, is, this approach is considered best. These inputs or outputs are expected to have market prices that accurately reflect their scarcity values. Where the environmental improvement is directly associated with changes in the quantity or price of marketed uh, outputs or inputs, the benefit directly attributable to the environmental improvement in question can be measured by changes in the consumer produce, uh, uh, cons consumer surpluses and the producer surpluses. Definitely when the environmental uh, quality is improved, we see improvement in the output and uh, if the prices uh, of these inputs uh, and outputs which have been changed due to the environmental improvement. Uh, then the benefits uh, 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 this can be measured uh, in terms of the uh, consumer surpluses and uh, the producer surpluses. Now, as you know, that uh, consumer surplus uh, refers to any benefit that consumers may receive when purchasing goods and services at the prevailing price, market prices. Clearly, consumers will benefit more when market prices are lower than what they are willing to pay. In the previous example, we see that uh, the consumer was planning, uh, were, were uh, willing to pay P1 a higher price.
to pay only 10 units uh, if uh, in their case uh, when they uh, uh, when they, they when they uh, were uh, offered a lower price pe they were willing to pay for 25 units of their product which is consumer uh, which is a uh, improvement in the consumer uh, which is uh, actually increasing the consumer surplus because in that case they were willing uh, they, they they were paying uh, a lower price than they were willing to pay similarly uh, the uh, you know the concept of producer surplus uh, which refers to any benefit uh, the suppliers or the producer receive when they sell the goods and services they produce at market price evidently uh, the producer benefit more as production cost decrease relative to the market price pollution control programs improve uh, the air quality and uh, the effect it affect output we see the graph uh, 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 where, where due to the uh, improvement in the uh, air quality uh, we see that uh, the supply curve of uh, the farm producer uh, moved from s1 to uh, from s0 to s1 uh, because uh, due to increase in the uh, air quality the uh, output increased the farm output increased which increased the, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, producer surplus they, there are a few uh, few steps uh, simple steps uh, which can be applied to uh, uh, estimate uh, the benefits through the market pricing approach uh, these steps include first of all estimate the demand function before change in the provision before the introduction of uh, Allah uh, uh, we estimate the demand function and we use uh, the market data to estimate the market demand function and the consumer surplus for the value or good or uh, uh, value uh, value value good or service before the change in the provision before a provision is made before uh, uh, the law is introduced uh, the, uh, the we, we estimate the consumer demand function and uh, the uh, consumer surplus with the help of the available data after this uh, when the provision is made we again uh, estimate the demand function and estimate the market demand function and consumer surplus for the good or services after the change in the provision has been uh, made so we estimated the uh, a consumer surplus before the uh, change and the consumer uh, surplus after the change uh, after uh, once we estimate the uh, demand function before and after the provision of that uh, facility then we estimate uh, a change uh, in the uh, economic benefit to consumers uh, we just uh, 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 find the difference of uh, uh, the benefits before and after the provision similarly uh, after the uh, estimation of the demand uh, what uh, uh, the we do the economist uh, they estimate the supply function uh, before the change and uh, they estimate the supply function after the change then find the uh, current benefit to the producers that is the producer surplus before change and after change after finding the the, the difference uh, 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 the difference of the consumer surplus and uh, the producer surplus we aid uh, both the changes in the consumer surplus and uh, the producer surplus and we arrive at the uh, total economic change which occurred due to the uh, uh, proposed project or due to the provision of the facilities dear students uh, this is very very simple uh, let me repeat the steps again that uh, in order to estimate uh, the uh, total benefit uh, to the society be, uh, or to the area uh, through the market uh, uh, pricing approach uh, what we do that uh, the simple way is uh, uh, first to estimate the uh, demand function and uh, then the consumer surplus before the uh, pro provision of that facility or before the project is launched then we find that uh, 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 we estimate the demand function after the provision after the introduction of the law or the legislation and find the consumer surplus after the change then we uh, find uh, the uh, change in the benefit to the consumer 
just uh, find the difference between uh, the surp consumer surplus before and after the change and whatever the net result is uh, this is the change in the benefit to the consumer we repeat the same uh, for uh, the supply function and we estimate the supply function for the producer before and after the change and we find the pro uh, producer surplus before and after the change and get the difference now in order to get the total economic change we add the difference in before and after provision a consumer surplus change in the uh, difference in the consumer surplus before and after the change and uh, the difference in the uh, uh, producer surplus before and after change we add both of these differences and we get the total economic change uh, this method uh, uh, is considered a good method because uh, the people's values are likely to be well defined as is reflect an individual willingness to pay for costs and benefits of a good or service that are bought and sold in the market. Similarly, data are relatively easy to obtain uh, for what is uh, this market uh, pricing approach. Uh, e uh, it uses uh, observed data of actual consumer preferences. Uh, that is the reason that it is considered best and it uses uh, standard accepted economic techniques. The weaknesses of uh, this uh, uh, method is uh, that uh, market data are available uh, only for a limited number of goods and services. Uh, not all the environmental goods and services have uh, market data. A true economic value of good or services may not be fully reflected in the market transaction. Similarly, this uh, method is uh, the estimation of this method is affected by seasonal variations and other effects on the price must be considered and it cannot be easily used to measure the value of large larger scale changes that are likely to affect the supply of a good or service. Usually, um, market price methods does not detect the uh, market value of other resources used to bring ecosystem product to market and thus maybe over uh, state the benefits. Uh, dear students, the uh, market uh, the replacement cost approach uh, is another well-known uh, approach uh, to for the valuation of uh, environmental uh, services. Uh, in this method, uh, we estimate the uh, um, the expected or we estimate the approximate uh, cost of uh, the uh, damaged uh, resource uh, or good or service uh, uh, the replacement or restoration cost technique can be used to measure the cost incurred in restoring or replacing uh, productive assets or restoring the natural environment or health human health as a result of the impacts of environmental degradation uh, what we the replacement cost uh, method does that uh, it uh, just uh, try to measure the cost uh, uh, restore the cost, replace the cost which have been occurred due to the environmental degradation. The replacement cost approach uses the cost of replacing an ecosystem or its goods and services as an estimate of the value of the ecosystem or its goods or services. What uh, replacement cost approach does that it uh, tries to um, uh, replace uh, the cost of the damage, uh, damaged a resource or uh, damage uh, good or services. It can be applied to, uh, for valuing uh, the improved water quality, uh, erosion uh, protection services, water purification services, storm protection services, habitat and nursery services. In all these cases, uh, this replacement cost method can be uh, used. A very good example is uh, we know that uh, the uh, uh, asset rains we discussed in uh, lecture number two. These uh, give uh, uh, asset rains give a very uh, uh, huge scale damages to the infrastructure. So, uh, if due to uh, the uh, uh, some environmental legislation due to the environmental projects. Uh, the a country is a society is a country an area is able to uh, reduce uh, the quantity of the acid rains this means that it will be able to uh, it will be able to uh, reduce uh, the cost of maintenance of infrastructure uh, this uh, replacement cost approach uh, uh, 
this mayas the uh, damaged uh, which has uh, damage to the infrastructure uh, and uh, uh, the estimate is replacement cost uh, as we know that asset accelerated deterioration of uh, uh, a nation's infrastructure such as highways bridges and uh, historic monuments Suppose a given nation passed a bill that reduces the emission of acid rain, uh, the, uh, the, uh, precursors sulfur and nitrate by 50%. As I told you um, earlier, that suppose we know that it uh, uh, ruins, it destroys the infrastructure, uh, that is, highways, bridges, and the uh, historic monuments. No, suppose uh, a bill is passed and the country is able to reduce the uh, acid rain by 50%. It will slow down the deterioration of the nation's physical infrastructure, definitely, if the replacement cost is used to measure the benefit from avoided environmental damage, it will be assessed on the basis of the saving realized to reduce expenditure on repairing, storing, and replacing the national infrastructure. If the, the acid rain, aesthetic rain uh, continues, the country will have to uh, spend each year a huge amount of money on the repair of uh, the rest, uh, or the restoration of uh, this infrastructure. If the uh, aesthetic rains are controlled by 50%, this means that the expenditure on the maintenance, on the repairing and restoring of this infrastructure will be reduced to some extent. That uh, reduced expenditure uh, in form of the saving is actually the benefits which we measure through the replacement cost approach. However, in some cases, uh, environmental damage may not be able, uh, capable of uh, being completely repaired are replicated even if could be the replica, replica, replicas would probably be of later work compared to the original. An example of this would be an attempt to estimate the value of wetland area that is earmarked for housing development by what it it would take to restore or replicate it somewhere as in the vicinity of the original site. So if any, this is another example that every uh, uh, which is uh, uh, earmarked for the housing development. Uh, it will be difficult to uh, replicate or restore it somewhere as than this original site. In this instance, other methods of benefit research is contingent valuation method. Uh, we will uh, CVM. We will discuss this in the next lecture. Uh, uh, next lecture. Uh, this could be more appropriate as compared to the uh, this uh, market uh, replacement cost approach. For this reason, the replacement cost approach should be used with some care. Despite the apparent weak weakness, the use of this method could be quite uh, tempting because it's generally easy to find out or find what appears to be rough but fairly adequate estimate of the replacement cost. Uh, Dixon and uh, Hashmet uh, uh, use this approach to estimate the cost of recovering and replacing uh, eroded site from agriculture project in South Korea. Uh, in their study, the uh, productive asset that had been damaged by the soil in the upland areas, the cost of physically replacing lost soil and nutrients was used as a benchmark by which, the, uh, by which to measure the replacement cost. This replacement cost then viewed as a measure of the minimum benefit to be realized from uh, the preventive steps that could be undertaken to restore and maintain the original productivity of the damaged soil. This method is considered uh, good because it is a rough estimator of the economic value subject to the data constraints and the degree of similarity or sustainability, sustainability between related goods or services. It is a rough indicator that is the reason that it is considered good. It is easier to uh, measure the cost of producing benefits than the uh, benefit themselves when goods and services and benefits are not marketed. Uh, less data and uh, it means less data and uh, resource, less resources uh, to estimate the replacement cost. Uh, uh, it provides surrogate uh, measures of value that are consistent with the economic concept of uh, use of value for goods and services, which may be difficult to measure by other methods. The weaknesses include uh, expenditures to repair damages or to uh, replace ecosystem uh, ser goods and services are not always measure of the benefits. The expenditure may not, the, one of the weaknesses is uh, the, many of the economists, they say that the expenditures are not uh, actually always the measure of the benefits provided. Uh, the benefit, the experience, the, 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 the damages may be more than the estimated expenditures. 
uh, do not consider social preferences for equal uh, goods and services uh, it avoids the social preferences uh, in certain cases the cost of pro pro protective action may actually exceed the benefit to the society substitute goods or services are unlikely to provide the same type of the benefit as the natural resource and goods and services being replaced probably uh, represent only a portion of the full range of goods and services provided by the natural resource and dear students uh, the third method uh, of our, uh, the evaluation of uh, the environmental benefits uh, is uh, the hedonistic or hedonic price approach approaches the nature of uh, the problem of uh, uh, the environmental goods concern the absence of a market for these goods leading to difficulties in determining their price or value Usually, uh, there are many environmental goods which are not traded in the market. So, the absence, in the absence of the market, uh, there is a, a difficulty in uh, finding their price or the value. The hedonic pricing method involves the examination of markets affected by environmental factors and attempts to isolate the value of their contribution. Al Khandri, uh, 1994. Uh, states that uh, the this approach uh, involves the examination of the markets uh, which are uh, affected by the environmental factors and this uh, method tries uh, tries to um, uh, isolate the value of the their contribution hedonic pricing approach uh, treats a marketed good usually a house or a sum of individual goods uh, that cannot be sold separately in the market the main objective of hedonic pricing model is to estimate the contribution of such characteristics or attributes to the price of the house. This is why they have become a core strategy to estimate the implicit prices of non-marketable goods. Actually, uh, dear students, we know that uh, the, uh, uh, we uh, take the example of uh, the property or of the house, uh, which uh, of a house or some property which is uh, uh, closer to the area where we have more pollution and uh, we can compare this area to those where we have comparatively less pollution so the prices of these both differ the hedonic price method uh, this estimates uh, the effect of these environmental factors on the prices of uh, that uh, uh, good or service uh, for example the uh, house or some other uh, 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 characteristics of the individual goods. We uh, first estimate the uh, environmental amenities associated with the property values. Environmental features can increase land and house values if they are viewed as attractive or desirable or they can reduce values if they are viewed as nuisance, dangerous or therefore undesirable. The land will be uh, uh, have very high price. A house will be have very high price if they are attractive. If the people find it attractive, or if the people are willing to uh, have this, they can reduce values if they are uh, valued as dangerous or undesirable, because uh, nobody will be willing to. Uh, willing to have a house in the area uh, which is very crowded, which is very uh, noisy, uh, which is very highly polluted. So in that case, uh, uh, similarly, everybody will be willing to have, uh, most of the people will be ha having to live in an area which is attractive, uh, which is uh, not, not too much crowded, where there is no too much pollution, where there is no too much noise. Uh, we know that due to order, due to noise, due to debris or health risk, people uh, in search of housing sites would tend to compare a landfill site closeness with the diminished environmental quality. So, uh, the everybody who is uh, looking for a house, they will try to uh, uh, avoid uh, the, such a area, such a house housing site, 
uh, which is uh, which is uh, uh, near the source of the noise or where there is debris or there is landfill or where there are health risks. If two houses are offered for same price and identical in every other aspect ex except the one is closer to the landfill site and a homeowner will choose the house that is farther away. Again, coming to the example of the house, suppose there are two houses uh, offer, I, I, I am suppose I am in search of a house and uh, I, uh, two houses are available. Uh, the construction, the material, the design, it is the same. Both the houses are, are same in all respect. Only one, they differ in one feature that one is uh, located near to a landfill while the other is uh, further away from the landfill. So definitely my choice will be the house which is away from the landfill. Uh, so the, the definitely uh, if I want to avoid the landfill, I will have to pay a higher price. Only when the closer house is offered for less money, will uh, families consider it a suitable for alternative. If they are they definitely they will be uh, that which is uh, the house the, the house which is uh, near the landfill uh, I will be willing to pay less for it as compared to that where the uh, which is uh, located away from the landfill uh, they will be indifferent to buy a house at lower price uh, of the house closer to landfill or further a house at a higher price various economists using uh, use, use, use using mainly housing and labor market buyer various environmental factors such as air pollution, noise pollution, soil infrastructure, uh, social infrastructure, climate and neighborhood ethnic, uh, uh, ethnic composition, earthquake risk and property uh, prices. They keep in mind uh, all these while selection for the house. Property market studies start from the assumption that the property prices capture the quality of environment. Example, other things being equal, one would expect properties in the areas with clean air to command higher price than houses in the area with polluted uh, air. House prices differ from a number of reasons, but if the quality of air is the only uh, different factor between two houses, it will be reasonable to argue that the higher price for houses in the clean air. Means there, can, there are a large number of determinants of uh, the uh, house price, but uh, if we uh, 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 find the uh, quality of the air or the environment is uh, the main difference then definitely those people or those houses located in the uh, clean air will have a better price a higher price as compared to those which are located in a uh, dirty air now the question is how to do environmental fact how do the environmental factors affect the value of a house in order to be able to answer this question, we need some empirical research involving econometrics. In order to estimate the effect of uh, the environment on uh, the uh, price, uh, house prices, uh, different economists uh, they use uh, a multiple regression for this purpose. Depending upon the, uh, the case, the cross-section data, time series data or a mixture of both known as pooling technique can be used. In order to estimate uh, the housing price, uh, different uh, types of the data across sectional time series are uh, the, uh, the pooling technique can be used uh, in order to estimate uh, the uh, determinants of the price of uh, a house. A property value uh, function is likely to have many variables as living space, quality of accommodation, income level of the residents, availability factor, accessibility, level, quality of public facilities in the area, level and quality of the other facilities, shops, churches, uh, rates, air quality, noise level, congestion factor including housing density as well as traffic and others. Apart from the environmental factors, there are a large number of other factors which are undertaken uh, by the economists for finding the uh, housing price. Uh, these uh, include many socio-economic factors uh, because uh, uh, there the the, the uh, area where the low income people are living, the house prices are expected to be low and the area where the posh area where the housing, uh, the uh, rich people live, the housing prices different will be uh, higher. Similarly, 
the accessibility to the market, the accessibility to the schools, to the colleges, to the uh, shops, uh, availability of the uh, natural gas, the availability of the electricity, uh, the quality of uh, uh, the air, all these are the determinants of uh, the um, uh, 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 housing prices uh, and different economists uh, have used uh, uh, different uh, models uh, uh, in order to estimate the housing prices. Uh, we can uh, take, for example, we uh, take the simple example, the property value is a function of H, A and E, where uh, PV stands for the property value, H is for the housing value, variable A is the accessibility factor, uh, N is the neighborhood factor, E is the environmental factor. Extensive research has been carried out to find the effect of changing environmental quality on the property prices. Uh, this is the C that uh, if the environmental quality is uh, improved, we will see a higher value of uh, the uh, this uh, uh, property and if the environmental quality is uh, lower, then it is expected that the price will be lower. Pierce and Turner 1990 used uh, the following functional form of the model, uh, PP uh, which is the property price is a function of uh, Pro, uh, P or OP, NWOD, access and ENV, where the property uh, variable, uh, house condition, size, quality, the property price depends on the house condition, size, quality, neighborhood, neighborhood means the condition of the surrounding houses, proximity to the school, amenities, uh, crime, the third is the access, uh, access, that is accessibility variable, connectivity and conditions of the roads, rail, air links and ENV is the environmental variable. So this is another, uh, uh, this is the second uh, uh, functional form uh, used for multiple regression uh, for finding the pro how, uh, the property price and this model was used by the Pierce and Turner 1990. Similarly, uh, Alcantara 1994 uh, used the Johnson model uh, pH is a function of SH, NH, ZH for all H, where pH is the house price, SH is the property value, and H is the neighborhood value, and ZH is the environmental value. Uh, this gives uh, uh, the hydraulic price function, so that the consumer treaty preservation uh, problem, uh, this may be maximized. So, uh, this these were, this was uh, the use of uh, the uh, atomic price uh, function for finding the uh, housing values. Now we uh, come to the valuation of health risk uh, which stems out from exposure to the workplace environmental hazard uh, due uh, uh, the, the people work in different uh, uh, different uh, uh, environmental uh, places where different or places with, where the in, environmental conditions differ. So the hedonic price method can be used uh, in economic evaluation of uh, the changes in the health conditions like the mortality that is premature death, morbidity, illness associated with the occupational choices because many many occupations are uh, there in which there is uh, the health risk. Uh, so, uh, the hedonic price approach can be used for the valuation of uh, such risk. In such cases, willingness to pay is uh, inferred uh, from the available data on medical expenditure, income and uh, the wages. Pollution, we know that it is considered as the major threat to the human health. Uh, similarly, groundwater contamination caused by toxic waste disposal on a landfill site that is not properly sealed may be serious to human at the hazard, especially this happens in the developing countries uh, where we see that uh, the groundwater is uh, uh, contaminated uh, due to the toxic, toxic waste uh, disposable, disposal. We know that uh, in the landfill we throw each uh, the, uh, the solid waste. If it is without, uh, uh, in, in the developing countries, usually this solid waste is not uh, treated well. So due to uh, this, uh, a number of the uh, uh, toxins are uh, the chemicals are uh, added to the groundwater. 
uh, which contaminates uh, the groundwater and this can result uh, the incidence of disease and premature death among the population which is uh, living near that uh, land field. Workplace exposure to toxic chemicals or other environmental hazards can result in similar results. Those people who, who are uh, uh, exposed to uh, the environmental hazard in, the, in their workplace, they can also fa face the same fate. Now, question arises, uh, how can we measure uh, in monetary terms environmental effect that increases the mortality and uh, the morbidity rates of community? This is an important question. Are we not here uh, implicitly measuring such things as the human life, pain and suffering? After all, it is uh, not life, uh, it, uh, is it, is, is it, uh, is not, uh, after all, is not life priceless. If the objective is to measure the benefit from avoiding the environmental damage by means of an individual willingness to pay, what is being measured is not the value of life pain or pain, but people's preferences, uh, uh, but, uh, but the people's preferences uh, for health risk, uh, how, uh, how, how, how much damage they are willing to avoid. We t all take risk uh, of this nature on a daily basis. Uh, what else uh, can explain people's behavior when they drive a car, especially on the congestion highways, such as uh, the Angeles free highways? Or when we can simple example when, when we drive the inside uh, the city uh, of Peshawar, uh, a congested city. Uh, we face such type of uh, the heavy behavior again then the life that is measured is uh, a statistical life uh, if we uh, uh, just as a job uh, those people who live in the Peshawar city in the con congested areas uh, near the these GT road or uh, the congested uh, where there we have uh, congested traffic uh, if their uh, lungs are checked they will see a huge quantity of uh, the, the carbon uh, 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 stick with their lungs. When applying the hedonic uh, price approach, uh, morbidity risk associated with workplace environment hazards are assumed to be factored into wages paid by different occupations. The jobs which are uh, associated with higher than average health risk uh, is why tend to pay a risk premium in the form of uh, the higher wages. Uh, this is usually the case of uh, the developing countries that in the developing countries where the jobs where the uh, uh, labor force is exposed to risk uh, they they are paid uh, higher wages as compared to uh, the jobs where the risk is comparatively low such wage risk deficiencies can be used for measuring change in the morbidity results from environmental pollution uh, for example uh, for example uh, the the daily average rate of the coal miners must be greater than the average rate of the blue collar workers in the manufacturing uh, sector because the coal miners they are exposed to uh, the health risk uh, 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 more the, 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 the coal miners they are exposed to the risk uh, more than those who are working in the manufacturing sector in similar fashion uh, to what was done for housing Statistical methods are used to conduct a functional relationship between the level of workers' compensation and uh, the environmental risk. In this case, the dependent variables are wage rates for, uh, just like the uh, hedonic uh, approach for the property price, uh, such type of the model can be used for the health risk as well. So, in this, uh, dependent variables are uh, wage rates for similar occupational categories, and the independent variables are attributes of risk such as different exposure levels to the environmental hazards. The major challenge here is to control statistically for all those non safety related differences between the uh, different occupational categories under consideration in order to isolate the difference in the wage associated with uh, difference in the safety. If this successfully accomplished, the final statistically defined fitted hedonic wage function would reveal how much compensation on average workers require in order to accept uh, more environmental risk means that in this uh, better uh, uh, in this case for the health risk the dependent variable is uh, the wage rate uh, but uh, the uh, in the in independent variables 
uh, different uh, different different variables are taken, uh, including the in environmental hazard or the uh, health risk as a major determinant. Another area where radonic uh, valuation may be considered is the economic valuation of premature mortality. Here, the economic value of interest is approximately by societal loss of labor as a result of the individual premature death caused by specific pollution related illness. The specific valuation approach used in this uh, case relies on the calculation of the present discounted value of the future earnings date for loss due to premature mortality. Uh, so, for this purpose, uh, you will have to uh, collect data from the company's profile uh, of those people who uh, died, pre, uh, they, who faced premature uh, mortality uh, and due to the environmental hazard. Peterson uh, 1977 estimated the social cost of discharges by Reserve Money Corporation and non magnetic rock are turning into the Lake Superior. Uh, the, this is the exertion of uh, the discharges to a lake were estimated by Pearson 1977 and the tidings uh, contaminated the lake water with uh, abstracts from fiber uh, uh, unknown uh, car carcinogen. Uh, these are the technical uh, chemical names uh, that uh, the, mm, the, the, the discharges from that uh, corporation, mining corporation, uh, that uh, led the water lake water, water contaminated. And this incident exposed the North Shore citizens to serious health risk since these contaminants draw their public water from the lake. Is this uh, lake uh, used to supply water, for, uh, drinking water to uh, the residents of uh, an area? So uh, this exposed those people to the health risk. It was estimated that contaminated water lake would increase the average annual number of deaths in the region by 274 over the 25 years of the remaining operation of the plant. Is the plant uh, have to operate for more than 25 years? So it was estimated that uh, it will increase uh, by deaths by a figure of 274. It was also determined that the mean age of the death of the North Shore victims would be 55 years of age or 12.58 years less than the average life expectancy of the male in the United States, which was 66.8 years. Similarly, this contaminated water was estimated to reduce the uh, life expectancy by 12.8 years. The social cost caused by each individual premature death was computed by estimating the annual present value of the loss productivity society suffered from each victim. Similarly, the social cost was estimated by uh, the, the estimating the annual present value of uh, the last uh, uh, productivity of the society, uh, which each uh, 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 which it, it faced uh, due to the death of each uh, worker. This was estimated uh, about uh, 38,849 per victim. Then the given the project uh, projected 274 deaths per year, the total social cost was about uh, this uh, 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 10 million 644,626. And this was due to the, uh, the this loss was, uh, this per year loss was uh, due, due to the uh, water, this contaminated water. At this point, it is important to note that estimate of this does not represent uh, uh, the estimate of 38,849, does not uh, represent the, it does not uh, represent this, this value does not represent the value of 12.8 uh, years extra of living to an individual. This was the video of uh, a single person. And real life, however, short uh, is perhaps priceless. Therefore, what the above estimate per years is the economic value of 12.8 years of statistical life, nothing else. Hence, the perspective of the society at large and individual in terms of her or economic contribution is nothing more than the statistical entity. The, this, this shows, this means that this, uh, this, this price or estimation of this uh, uh, cost. Uh, uh, is not uh, the uh, the price of uh, the life because the human life is uh, priceless. In some instances, the above evaluation method has been used as a basis for actual compensation for job-related fatalities. Uh, this method used in order to make the compensation for the job-related uh, uh, deaths. This method, when used for individual cases, implies that the death of individuals 
who differ who differ only in their annual income would lead to different levels of compensation in fact this uh, has been one of the major uh, uh, contentious issues in the discussion between us government and the lawyers representing relatives of uh, the uh, september 11 fatalities in the ur city uh, is uh, would be expected there is a great deal of uh, the discomfort in using this approach probably due to the equity consideration uh, this uh, uh, hedonic pricing approach uh, can be used in order to estimate the uh, health risk but uh, is uh, d- uh, we discussed in detail in this discussion that this is just a rough statistical estimate and uh, this is not uh, the actual uh, price of the uh, human life uh, human life is uh, uh, priceless uh, anyhow this uh, uh, we uh, the, the Hedonic price approach uh, can be used to estimate the uh, health uh, risk uh, and uh, the uh, uh, second the uh, pricing of the property of the houses uh, due to, due, uh, affected by the environmental factors and uh, for this uh, uh, lecture you can you can uh, have the Ahmad Hussain uh book uh the nasibelli the uh, marine uh, article 2009 uh, uh and some other articles and uh, the chapters which have been given this uh, reference list thank you